how's it going? It's Diet Carb here. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. Um, it has been a hectic evening. We are playing Football Manager. Um, if you're in the chat, guys, good uh, evening. I hope you are doing it very, very well. I would like to just readjust, okay, what's going on here. Need to make things bigger and I'm getting pretty good at getting the old stream up and running quite quick. Uh, it's a bit easier on the Football Manager once the game's up and running. Uh, we're playing the second round here of what is going on. We're playing the second round here of the um, FA Trophy. We were a goal down. We've come back to, to lead 3-1, so I'm pretty confident things are going well. Uh, we are looking, hopefully we'll get a few of our mates back in. Just want to give a shout out to followers that have um, followed me in the last few days. We have Jiminy Jim. Duke Newcomb 93, Claw Ticket, XX Gamer, XX Valora, Cood Lag, Chelsea Boy 86, Exavidius, Liam Brook 100, sorry, Liam Brook 00, Netuxa, and Exines 1987, who followed me after the stream ended. So hopefully he or she will come into the stream and we can have a chat with them. Um, well done, Holders. Well, I'll take that back now. Donnan just scored a beast of a goal that once I get a few people in chat, I do want to show you, um, which is going to be good. And uh, yeah, Dylan Barden's out with flu. So six to eight days, he is laid up in bed. Bless his little heart. Um, no doubt watching the game on, on TV, on one of the online streams that no doubt will occur. Uh, Sonogo has scored and that is the end of the game. Uh, 16th goal of the season for Valerie Vanera. It's a shame this guy can't get in the team somehow. So, if I drank that one already, I have. I believe how fast I get through that. It really is. Uh, right, so in the end, we did amazingly well to come back, um, dominated the game, and we are through to the third round. So, FA Trophy remains our final. Uh, chance to win some serious uh, do on the finance side of things. We're still all right. Don't worry, I may well um, just want to have a look on income, see what type of income we have been bringing in. 78,000 this season. Uh, last season, no, that was grants. Where's my overall? Ah, 401,000. So what's expenditure for wages? Yeah, you see, I'm spending a lot on wages, but I wouldn't be spending that necessarily. So five fields unhappy because he wants to be playing. So that's him out. That looks a bit harsh, guys, but to be honest, no room for unhappy players. He was set for release anyway. Um, we have got Wakefield who can play. Harvey Hard has turned out to be worse than what I thought, and I'm paying him a lot of money for for not a lot, but he's back up, so let's not feel too bad about that. Um, we've got 52 goals for 41 games for Barden, who's out for another eight days. It's a pretty bad flu. I have to get his flu jab, wouldn't he? Um, so that's it. Let's keep going. And everyone else is playing pretty good, so just going to have a look at the scouts. We are going to set away a couple of... Um, couple of scouting assignments we want better than that uh, let's go for 29 go for end of contract and that is let's go for Matt Oswin and it is urgent and it's going to be ongoing mm, Jesse Sullivan's been having a look through some players and we've got Lewis Walters now Lewis Walters again could go in the team ahead of Snogo but I like Snogo so I don't really want to sign him and we've got Stephen James who looks very good but he's no better than Deba which means he's not better than um, our current goalkeeper Coddington either um, Sam Tatum who I've had before 
isn't as good as Cobain, which therefore means he's not. I mean, this again is is. Uh, I mean, for some reason, Michael Hoganson, who I haven't had. I mean, Evan Finnegan hasn't played for me for like a year, so that has always been a bit buggy. Angus Gunn. Let's have a look at Angus. Is nearly as good as Coddington. Well suited to League Two. Let's do a comparison with Coddington here. I mean, he's big, he's better. So, come for him. Be nice to have him in the team. Coddington, probably keep him and just see who gets pissed first. He would probably go. Um, again, we don't need fantastic players in every position. I might just get not bother with gun, to be honest. I don't know. That might be a tricky one. We don't we see we want a, we want a combination of, of a keeper who's happy to sit on the bench against a player who's happy to be up front all the time and play. We don't want someone who's wanting to play every single game. To be honest, I like Coddington. It might be actually him that I offer to clubs. So um, Monday looks like it's been quiet in chat this evening, so not necessarily going to be really busy. Um, so let's have a look at the schedule. We've got nothing till third of the second for the, the trophy game. So Colwyn Bay are in 18th position followed by Barwell in 13th position. So Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. Um, still got a lot of Tuesday games. So that's okay. Um, let's just have a look. That's, that's the team that's picked. Um, I think I would like to give Wakefield a game instead of Kyle Cameron. I think I fancy that change. Jimmy, maybe Doninger give him a rest, possibly. Not sure on that one. Um, I'm light on strikers. I'm not sure if I need to sign another striker. Yeah, strikers are a bit light. Sonogo, great goal. Good goal.
Horsefield, not a bad effort. So I'd like to see Waterfield have a, a sort of solid game here. Another long range from Horsefield. Sort of dominating this game in the early stages. Good goal by, is it Luke Sharman? Yeah, I've had him before. I believe he used to play for Newcastle, but he's started to play, found his range at the Northern Premier Premier, um, and is starting to play every week, so that is a good goal for him. He's not massively dangerous at this level, but I found him to be decent, but not brilliant. And we get a goal straight back to Orta. Ninth goal of the season for us, but he's scored many more than that this season. For another team, let's just see how many he has actually scored. 22 and 23 games overall. Um, 11 for Loughborough Uni until I bought him on a free transfer. Um, which which uh, I think I did a, a good bit, bit of business there. But he's on quite a few hundred quid a week wages, mine, so not totally free. Good ball by Doninger to Bruner to order just over. That was nice football. Get a corner. Nice football here. Bruno's done him. Down low in order. How did he do it? That should have been a goal. Oof. That's nearly a good one. Right, second half. <sighs> Did really well to keep it in, and that wasn't the best. So under a little bit of pressure here. Good hands by Currington. Good kick.
Oof, what I did well. Come on, boys, let's keep this going. That's the only substitution I want to make at the minute. These are giving us a really, really good stern test here. Good save there by the goalkeeper against Ota. I thought that was in. Oh, good save by Ripley, by Parker, sorry. Offside, that did not look offside. So forced another save out of park. Yeah, we're gonna be we've only got two minutes of the match left. So we're not really holding on, but obviously we're we are in a way. That's a good looking cross, well headed out. That's a nice looking play. Forced the defender to go evasive. It might be offside. No, it wasn't. Bruno, well, he's asking a lot there, Sonogo. Good tackle there. Nice and calm, nice and calm. And a great save by Connick, and that should have been uh, the get the uh, draw, and we just about hold on. We deserve our win. I think that was a good win, lads. Good, good win there. Really gave us a hard test there, Colin B. Three days for Barden with the flu, so he's going to miss Barwell. We should be back in for the game after that.
So we've got gun on a three. Trying to offer this guy off for a hundred grand, see if we get any. So, scouting by all means, Josh Ginelli. I don't think he'll offer us anything, but he hasn't even made his debut yet. Nicky Featherston, he's a free agent. We'll have a look at him. Don't want anyone that age. So, Barwell at home. Probably play Barden for the second half in this match. Just to give him a run out and maybe the last 25 minutes. Probably the last 25 minutes actually. Hopefully we'll have had the game various, pretty much wrapped up by then. Probably I'm going to end the stream after this one guys. Just it's been a bit quiet tonight. Um, my next stream will be Wednesday. And we'll get plenty of... Uh, good good streams in there got a few things going on in my life at the minute over the next week so it'll be a big week for me so um we'll need to stream more than ever i'll explain more when we get a few people in chat about what i've been doing that's well played by darbo so there's sonogo drifting Ota got himself into a nice position and it was a good shot by Horsefield, but not enough power to get past Hill in the Barwell goal. So Bruno did well. So no go inside. Get it Thank you to Jack Tyler54, who's followed. Nice to see you, mate, if you're in the stream. And uh, thank you for following. Thank you for passing by. Oh, dear. Oof, managed to escape there. Need... Kind of need to get a foothold in this game. We've got Barden to come off the bench. But he's trying to get back to full fitness. It's a big difference without him in the team. It's like obvious he's our quality player. Go on, Ripley. Bad shot. Good ball, the quality ball, quality ball. Ah, oh, Hill did really well there. The goalkeeper that pretty much saved a certain goal for us there. Or for them, saved them a certain goal, saved them from me scoring a certain goal. Try and say it properly. Oh dear, Nelson with a good finish. Isaac Nelson, ninth goal of the season. So that wasn't good with our new goalkeeper. 
beaten at the near post. That was a bit of a bit of a nightmare. Shouldn't have really happened. So we get a corner out of next to nothing. Managed to clear it. Howie boys is getting silly now. I need a goal. No rush yet, but last game we were 1-0 down at half time. We won 4 one so I'm not too panicking just yet, but it might be time for our secret weapon. Or not so secret weapon, actually. Dylan Barden with 54 goals in 41 games for the season. 17 years old. We just got lucky with the mint regen. A couple of seasons ago, we managed to keep a hold of him. Not using any editor in this game, guys, although we did give ourselves some money to begin with, just to build us up from the Northern First Division. Oh, no, I thought he might just put that away. That would have been quite timely. Right. Is it too early to bring on Barden? 76. I'm going to say it's fine, and I think I'm going to bring Jimmy Lee on for him as well. So, giving our probably our first choice team without the loanee and the sub. Although, Sinogo would normally come off for uh, Ote, but I'm going to go for who's playing the, the worst of the two. Be fair about it. Barden may be a bit rusty, but gets a really early chance. That's a good sign. Come on, boys. Can't be affording to be hiding these away. Well, we can, to be honest, in the league, but we don't want to be slack. Start dropping points, just keep winning. Get the league stitched up early. Good run in the FA Trophy, good cross. So no go just over the bar. Still in the game. Bit of assertive encouragement, I think. So we are struggling here. It's not looking good. We, we did sort of struggle in the last game against Colwyn Bay. They gave us a real hiding for a lot of the game and then we managed to win it. And now we're sort of losing fairly you know, good value for the loss. Just things aren't quite happening for us. Oh, so no, Barden missed again. Come on, boys. Might be a Cameron missed a shot there. Hmm. So last twenty five minutes, see if we can get anything out of this game now. It could be another one of our and you're going to lose a few games a season. You cannot win them all. We've only lost two in the league this season. Had a good run in the FA Cup. Had a good run in the... Well, a decent run in the Vars and then we're out. So, you know, we can afford to ship a couple of goals, a couple of games. We look at the target nine, so should have really put something in the goal. And there we go. And guess who? Dylan, Daryl Barden. 53rd goal this season and we level it up so what's the odds on us now going on to win it good ball to Bruna for the keeper Ball of Barden, out wide to Lee, who takes a shot and very nearly went in. That would have been a great way to finish. So we've got a couple of minutes in injury time to try and steal it if we can. I mean, got to keep them out the other side, mind. 
And that's a good looking ball to Sonogo. Barden's in the middle. You can get it in. Bruni. Oh, Bruni forced to save out the keeper. Well, that was maybe our chance. That was maybe the chance. To, oh, well, who knows? We might get one more, but at least he forced him to make a save. Brilliant deception by the defender. Had to get there. And again. And Lee's offside, but good pressure late on. Uh, it's not going to bring come to anything in this time. We'll have sneaked a few. And that's it. So a draw's a draw, I guess. We should be winning these matches, definitely true. We're still seven points clear with two games in hand, so potential to be 13 points clear. Once everything levels out, is a you know a big margin. Um, probably gonna put him in the reserves. I just want a shot of him. So we're gonna get to the Stour Bridge game, and then probably gonna call it a day. Uh, I play the Stourbridge game actually and go to the Blythe game. Can't really work it out. I'll see how I feel. Um, let's have a look at the schedule. It's been a long time since we lost a game, apart from the Cup game. The last game we lost was a 4 5 loss to Grantham way back in October. So we've done really well since then. We've got an FA Trophy game, all the Premier League games still to go. Uh, FA Trophy third round game so Kettering, Lincoln Matlock who are in the Northern Premier Premier so we should have a chance against them so a great chance to progress in that cup competition So, why don't we, this guy's clearly not going to want to leave. So, let's accept that. Oops. No, that might mean I'm not streaming anymore. In fact, I'm not sure what that means. Stop streaming. Well, I'm streaming, so. Yeah, let's just keep going. Take him off the transfer market. Um, might see if he. Oops. Look at this guy. He's getting better and better and better, isn't he? No, I think he's worth better than that. I think he's worth better than that. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look and see if Coddington would do some tutoring for me. No. Nope. Um, Angus Gunn, maybe? Nope. Problem is, I've got a very young team. So, who's going to play? 91 Fitness. I think again... Might just start him coming off the bench in the second half. Uh, maybe play him in the first half, see how he gets on. Could do with an emphatic victory. 
been a little while since we had one, but we're at home in front of the home fans. Let's put on a show. Own goal. I know it was Barden's goal. I've totally blinded that one. 54th goal of the season for Dylan. Daryl, sorry, not Dylan. I keep saying Dylan, Daryl. Daryl. Bridal card, that's a funny name. Great play by Ripley. Oh, that was a nice goal. That was a nice goal. As you can see, just controls it into the open space, moves into space, cross right into the danger zone and order. It's harder to miss from there. Nice. Oh, a long swooping ball and he finds order. Bridal card puts itself for a corner. A bit fortunate, but we'll take it. Oof, what a shot. Outside of the foot, that would have been a beast of a goal. Great ball. Nothing came of it. So I think we might get a half a chance here. Boone can swing a good one in. Donninger, that's the boy. You don't save those, you really don't save those. Proper don't. Bruna, ball comes in. Donninger with a bit of space, single touch, bang. And that is a goal. That is a lovely goal. So, um, Barden looks fit, and um, we're going to bring him off at 65 minutes for Sunogo. Uh, Cameron probably... All right, Chelsea boy, mate, how are you doing? Nice to see you, nice to see you, to see you, nice. That should go off in a minute, yep. Yeah. Um, we're just battering people, laying them to waste, mate. Are you doing any Pro Evo tonight? Let me just click this off so I can see you. Um, Thank you for the host, of course. Very kind of you. And there we go with Ripley for the fourth goal of the game. We're now battering them hard. 
So I could probably, now it's just a case of managing Barden's fitness. Probably just take him off for the last time after his flu. If you're streaming tonight, uh, let me know, Chelsea boy. I'm not really feeling it tonight, mate. A bit of a lack of, bit of a tumbleweed thing going on in the chat. None of my regs have turned up. None of them. Not, neither of two of them. Oh dear. Um, so I'm kind of a little bit chilled out. I'm not planning to stream tomorrow because I've got a football match. Um, maybe late on when I come back, possibly. Got to manage the old time a bit because I'm just a bit like uh, with streaming at the minute. Get my match fitness up. Um, but I'm off work next week. So hopefully, you know. Big big week next week. I've got me council selections coming up, and I am going to be contested apparently. So I'm doing a nice letter to members to, tomorrow, um, at my own pocket of about thirty quid spend, um, and then oh, and that's a goal for Hammer. And then try and ring them up and follow it up with an email to the those who run email, and then try and pers ring them up next week and persuade them to turn up. Uh, to the meeting on Friday night, which might be difficult. Friday night's not a great night to get people there. And then uh, we'll see if we can get selected as the candidate. I know politics is boring, but I do I do kind of enjoy it. It's kind of my circle of friends. It's something I could take or leave it, I think, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it says streaming can be boring, Chelsea Boy says in the chat there. I agree with that. It can be difficult. You kind of get a bit jealous of the people who just, you know, ah, and that's a good goal. None of them have got Dylan Barden with his 55th goal of the season. I don't really want to take him off, to be honest. I'm not going to now. He's on a hat-trick, so we'll leave him to get it. We don't want him peed off or the fans peed off. Look at them. Donninger again with an 8.8. After a while, I'm saving myself for the Mafia 3 a week on Thursday. Yeah, I had a, I had a good look at that game. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing your stream. On it, but I don't think I'll be getting the game, mate. It doesn't look quite like my type of game, but I'll definitely be tuning in. I need to, uh, I need to turn your notifications on on this channel because I don't think I've got any notifications on. I need to do that. I'm not a hundred percent sure how to do it. Maybe if I unfollow and then refollow. Hey, Duke Newcomb ninety three. The results have been all right. I'll show you in a moment. I'm currently beasting a team. Um, I was going to come off, but seeing as I've got a couple of people in, I'll hang around. And I am winning pretty emphatically in this game. It's uh, proven to be a battering. Um, I try. I did. I was a bit naughty, and I've signed another keeper, and I tried to flog Luke Coddington for nothing, even though he was worth seventy grand. And all I've really done is pay him off. For the other guy came on and dropped a bollock. So Coddington's back in, and just taking advantage of the fact that FM sort of forgets that you'd done that. <laughs> Right, Johnson, and then a little for Cameron, because he's knackered. Cameron's not the best. He's someone I'm... Pr the guy I was after, Jake Goodman, the other night I mentioned, he's signed for Leighton Orient in League Two. Have you changed your Twitter account? Yeah, I'm Diet Cobb, mate, now. At Diet Cobb. But I, I still use... I still have at runout.tv... And I still have at Mal two five five as well. So whatever you want to use, really. Diet carbs sort of building slowly. I'm not. I'm not on that much other than uh, the odd like once a day thing. So if you want to get in touch with me specifically, the best one is Mal two five five. But that's more of like my personal account than a gaming account. I've lost count with the amount I've had over the years. I nearly got Diet Cobb banned, actually, because I went on a crazy Twitter. Um, uh, I read a couple of articles on how to get loads of followers quickly. And I didn't use bots, but I, I went on to um, a popular gaming streamer Twitter account that had like lots of likes, and I followed all the likes to about 100 of them. And Twitter just knacked us straight away. So I then unfollowed them. They then stopped me following anybody else, so I tweeted at them, said sorry. Um, yeah, if you give us one second there, mate, I will just pause this. Come into there. And I'll do, do, do. Which one are you after? I'll give you the main one. I'll give you the two. Twitter.com slash multi55. Or. Copy. A 
that'll do. Right, back in and play. I got eight A level in politics understanding and rest. I've been a member of a couple of different parties in my time. Um yeah, mate, uh, it's selection week, so big I mean I've been a, a very, very active member of the Labour Party for eight years, I must say at the minute. Um if you go to malclark.com, uh it's Clark with with an E. If you go to malclark.com you'll find my politics blog. Um I do a little uh thank thank you, Chelsea boy. I appreciate that, mate. Good ball that's well offside though. Come on, ref. I'm gonna have to go for a wee in a minute, guys, after I've done this game. Uh but yeah, I've done I've been an active activist. I'm not a big fan of knocking on people's doors. I don't like people knocking on my doors. Uh I find local stuff interesting, but the, the kind of the the shit side of politics I hate. The argument, the nagging, the you know, and I work for a member, so um I get that all day long. And it can be a bit and I've done that now for six and a half years, so work that one out. <laughs> um, like I say, I've applied recently for a job at the Woodlands Trust for a regional public affairs officer, so that's in the pipeline. So no idea if I'll get an interview yet, but hopefully that'll be nice. It's home-based, so it will be a nice step forward. All right, guys, I'm just going to put the results on so you can see them. I'm going to quickly pop for a leak. I'm sorry I have to leave the stream. Two seconds, literally, after the... It's because I drink all this Diet Coke and it just goes straight through. One moment, boobs. Right, now that I've emptied my bladder, I can start filling it up again. An 8 A level in politics is pretty good, mate. Nicely, nicely done on that one. I couldn't back in the day, and I'm going back to 1997 when I started my A levels at the end of 97. We couldn't do politics at my school, so they, they, they do do it now, but at the time, um, no no could do so i couldn't do it so i did biology instead and flunked it and i was terrible at biology i was absolute rubbish um and that sort of carried on throughout my life with my lack of success with women hence why i have a twitch stream although chelsea boy has both which i find quite interesting uh twitch stream and a woman so good well done to him there was a cool uh there was a cool thing on facebook you might have seen it today it was a bloke who had it, whose girlfriend had sent him a text, um, and it's gone a bit viral. And he put on Twitter, um, this is when you know she's a keeper. Um, what's Chelsea boy saying? Let you do chat, not my thing. Uh, no, no, I'm not talking politics anymore. That is for, that is for office hours. Um, but, and this thing went through um, uh, about being a, a keeper and it was she sent him a text saying hi you left your laptop on I had to finish the end of your football manager game I made three subs and we won three nil love you and he put that's when you know she's a keeper some of the comments on that was great when the one guy said uh, you need to explain why you left your team mid game and all this it was, it was quite, quite funny Um Defensive positioning. There we go. Ah, cool man. Yeah, you know, whatever you want. It's 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 a personal thing. Um, where are we at here? So we've got Barden. Looks like he's back to full fitness after he's in. Hello, Mokies. Bye. Nice to see you, pal. Um, give us a follow if you can. Get that number up to double figures. That's over double figures, but you know, I'm not far off a million, just a million short. 
Um, so what are we doing here? We, we are working our way towards the Blythe game and the Matlock game's the big game. We're into the, we beat Geisley and then we're into the third round. So one, one away from the quarter final. Blythe, we should win. We should beat these, I think. I think we should beat these. The team, the biggest decision we've got to make uh, the team is Durham City, and what I've done is I've played using the official level, I think it's level 11 mod, is I've gone from there right up to um, achievements. If you have a look at the achievements, competitions, no, overall, awards maybe, landmarks, landmarks, League One winners and Premier League Division North winners. <laughs> it's all right, keep you can. Thank you for the follow, Temple K9. Yep, you know, it's an easy thing to get drawn into talking about, Chelsea boy. As you'll find out as you get older, it's always just that's something that gets people somehow. I don't know. It just gets you going, just gets you talking. Um, and this is season three, Muggies. Season three. But we are getting through it, and uh, we're in the Northern Premier Premier, and we are top of the league by seven points with two games in hand so um Chelsea boy just plays pro evo he's not really aware of the world around him are you Chelsea boy you're just going to play just going to play some pro evo mate it's the best way believe me it's the best way you have less stress doing that than you will doing anything else that's why I want to stream hello particle 314 how's it going uh, this is this what which league is this Northern Premier Premier Division. The next level up is the Conference North or the Vanarama North. And the one above that's the Vanarama National. And the one above that is League Two. So three leagues down from League Two. That's good, yeah. That, it, anything that offers the. Uh, yeah, we need Alex Hunter. I think he would get into our team. I know how that ends. Don't tempt me. Chelsea Boy doesn't want to know. Well, let's play some football. We've cracked on enough. So next game after this is a big game against Matlock. So I'm gagging for that. In fact, should I rest somebody? Mm, I'm tempted to rest people. I'm just going to play it. Because I still want to get promoted. Promoted. Everyone follow Chelsea Boy 86 because he does pro Evo streaming. Although he is recharging his batteries ready for Mafia 3. And he is hosting me now. So return the favour. That would be very nice. His link's there. I think if you left click on it and then click follow, you can follow his stream. I'd very much like you to do that. Because he's a good guy. I used to have a bit crack with him when there was like a little core of it of people that I used to talk to. Poolmaster123, who's now living it up large with a um with a streaming team. I think you might remember me. But under a different username. Cameron's already managed to get himself booked, which I missed. That's not good, haven't you? Sent the half booked after like two minutes. One thing that's a little bit of this about this. Oh. And Particle has followed. What I need to do is just move that along. Sorry, guys, one second. Just so I can. I need to be able to read who's following me so I don't have to stop the stream. Bear with me one second, gents. Just a little bit of. So we do have a few followers here, to a few viewers. Templek9 is in chat. Hello, mate. So we've got a few of you there. Five of you. Good God. We're positively viral, gents. It's funny, I was just sitting there with no one in. I'm just sort of like snoring away. And then, uh, sorry. I was just snoring away, ready to end the stream. And then I get five viewers. It's like, hello. Nice to see you all. Now, for those of you who are interested in, in these things, um, I feel like I have to show you my star player, and I do this constantly. <laughs> Daryl Barden. Mucky's by, good man. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the, to the team. The 20th follower, fantastic. We're getting there, slowly, very slowly. But this guy, nobody can see at the bottom of there, 
Um, 8.07, 42 games with one sub appearance, 55 goals, 11 assists, 10 player of the matches, and one penalty. So a decent, a decent hand. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm really thankful for any followers. When you're down at 20, you're like, you know, it means a lot. When you get it, when you have a million followers, it's like, hey, you know, thanks for the follow. You know. Thanks for the follow again, you know, another million. Um, but when you have 20, it means something. I'm sure it always means something, but, you know. I had, I think I got up to 126 on my other account, but it was a mishmash of all sorts of strange branding, so I set, I started again. Good save, Coddington. I feel a bit guilty that I tried to flog him for nothing when he's worth 70,000. So you guys excited about FM seventeen? They've tell you what, they've, they've done a mid job on on stopping the the leaks on the features. Like really good job of that. Uh oh. So we're kind of all over them here, but we haven't turned that into anything. Blythe are a tricky team. Yeah, that's always the problem with Pro Evo Chelsea boy, isn't it? Uh, that they do seem to have issues around there. Like I said, I think if you if you value the overall presentation more than the gameplay, then you'll 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 be a FIFA fan. If you like the good gameplay, you're a Pro Evo fan. But if you could somehow combine the best bits of FIFA in with the best bits of Pro Evo, you you know the game would just be off the scale. That's offside, I think. No? Great ball to Bruno, make a delivery. Oh. Pardon. Ah. Oh. Can you download the proper things or not? Uh oh. Good save, Coddington. That wasn't good. Settle down, Cameron. You're on a yellow. Whoa. Not liking that. Nice stadium. I feel like Coddington should have done better here. Yeah. Bit of a goalie disaster. So Ota's playing like a bitch, so I'm gonna have to take him off. Ripley for Lee and Little for Johnson. Let's just make three changes, go for broke. If I get an injury, I'll feel stupid. If Cameron gets sent off, I'll feel really stupid. Probably shouldn't have made three subs, but it's getting late. I'm getting tired, I'm making strange decisions. It happens when you get older. Oh, what a ball. Good save. That was probably a harder shot to save than the one that went in. Yeah, I, was, I mentioned something about unrealistic um, stuff on feet on this game, and one of them is that you get like multi multi goalie kits. Like it changes virtually every game into something elaborate. You get like pink tracksuit bottoms with green tops and red yellow socks, and you get all sorts of grey cross. Oh, it's a no goal, man! Should have been in. Come on, boys, I don't want to lose. Be a 15-match unbeaten streak. We'll be down the toilet if we can't score here. There is nothing else to do but to bollock them. We're just going to have to encourage. Calm down. You know, just, just chill. Chill. Take a chill pill.
I've got a funny story for you guys actually I was sitting in, near the bench of a non-league team and uh, the goalkeeper who was a young lad very young lad he's the third choice goalie for Gateshead in the Van Rama National and he came on loan and he went for a 50-50 challenge with this big guy and came off worse he was only a little fat and goal caught the ball but he got injured he got hurt and we're, we're going down here are we no, that's not good. I'm not happy about this at all. So anyway, just going back to my story, because we're going down here. Look at that shot's on target. Is he got injured and he, he had to come off with the lad who was coming on, hadn't played a game for like 10 years. He was on the bench, but he never thought he was coming on. He was 39 and he's an absolute legend. He turned to the manager and he went, what do you want us to do, Gaffer? And he was like, get ready to come on as a keeper. What do you want us to do, Gaffer? And the manager just turned around and deadpan and went, clean sheet, it'd be all right. And he went, nice one, mate, and just ran on. We were we were all just like, Christ almighty. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> what do you expect him to say, you know? It's like, clean sheet, fine. If that's all right. Didn't keep one. Um, he was unlucky, actually. Anyway, I lost that game. That's pretty awful. That's our first loss in since October. And we are in January, so that's a pisser. Can't win them all. But what really sucks is that our players are now going to be knackered after we lost. And it's FA Trophy third game in three days. So if I was going to lose, I'd have played my reserves, you know. It's one of those irritating things. It's only worth playing your best team if you end up getting the three points. Given that I didn't need the three points, I should have played my reserves. Didn't think. Getting too dazed by everyone being in chat, I think. You know you're small fry when there's only five. Hello, Lum1993, Cal. Welcome to chat, mate. Give us a follow if you can. That would be great. Brilliant Barden. 55 goals this season. Passionate. Fantastic. How happy was I when he signed a new contract? If anyone was in stream then, how are Gateshead doing at the minute? Uh, well, the lad I used to just go to school with, Ben Clark, two years younger than me, um, used to know him quite well. Uh, he's just retired. He was the captain. Uh, but he wasn't really getting a game. Um, they're doing okay, I think. I'm not quite sure where they are in the in the conference at the minute. They're usually pretty like playoffy, sort of playoff area. Um, they've won. They've won a few games. I've noticed, but I know I don't really follow them too closely. I've never actually been to a game. I live about half an hour away from the ground. I've never been to a game. I don't know why. I've just never managed to get up there for some reason. Right. So Thomas Ripley instead of Jimmy Lee. It's a close call. It's a very close call. Donninger and Horsefield, I probably need a centre mid on the bench. Look at Harvey Hodd on there. Instead of... Cobain. We're going to have Wakefield on there instead of Little. So we've got somebody who can play pretty much everywhere except for left wing. In fact, we'll put on Max Harrop, so we've got cover in every single position there. So I'm happy with that. He's signed in blood. Just going to give this quick save. Only not because I cheated, which I don't, but just in case something goes wrong. I wouldn't like to think I lost everything. He did sign for South Shields, but it fell through. He's now a community officer and a coach for Gateshead. So, hey, he's done well for himself. Never had to work. Always been a professional footballer, made no less than, and often a lot more than this, but no less than about sixteen hundred quid a week for his career. Not a bad haul, lads. Lives just up the road from me, believe it or not, in the next estate, along about two hundred yards away. Quite often walks, like just out of this window here, just down there. He quite often walks his daughters and his dog into this estate and down the bank. So I see him quite a bit. Um, I know him because he's in the same class as my sister. But he wouldn't know who I am. I think he recognises me because I live near him, but never speaks, you know, because you only speak. You know, you only speak the important. I am a level one coach. Uh, hello, Clement Ballet. 
Welcome to the stream and welcome to the follows. Ooh, that would have been nice. Now, I can't see the ball very well because we're snowing. Um, this is a big game, actually. Right, take care, Chelsea boy, mate. Nice, nice to see you, as always. Get yourself streaming soon, buddy. I'll be in there. So, Matlock are the team. They're actually in the league. I think they're in my division, but they're at the bottom, so... I should win this. Like, if I lose this game, that is a massive, massive nightmare. And it leaves pretty much the league to polish off, which I think we will do anyway. Um, I'm not doing any of these because I just don't believe we need to do it. Penalty. So will that be Dylan Barden taking it? Yes. For what would be his 56th goal of the season. So hitting the net's not something he's not used to. Come on, Barden. Come on, this is important. Get in there. 56th goal of the season for Daryl. I keep saying Dylan. I mean Daryl. If I say Dylan, just ignore it. Good penalty. I don't know how many, how many goals has he scored for me. It's a ridiculous time to check this. I'm not going to check it now. I get these curious little bursts of activity. That's a cracking ball. That was probably offside. Let's just go to stats. I'm just curious to see how many goals he scored. Look at all those greens. Oh, getting faster as well. Surprised that it says he's only well suited to League Two. I think he can go way higher than that. He actually had a transfer range to a championship. Um, so he's 79 goals. But that's not right. So it's 55 there and 39 there. So what's that? 94. So it's actually 94 goals in 43. Oops. 43, yeah, just more goals than he's played games anyway. And you might be having another one here. Oof. He's me star. All right, come on. So Cameron got the assist because he took the corner. Anything that helps his rating go up is good because it tends to be low for some reason. Barden's booked. I don't mind taking him off because we've got Sonogo on the bench who's a great player for this level. So I'm not too worried. Now this pitch is a big pitch so fatigue could be an issue later on. Um... So if you guys have got any questions, those of you watching in the chat, or if you want to ask anything, by all means do so. I'll try and answer you. Um, got a few followers tonight, so I really appreciate that, guys. Especially when you've only got 20 or so, it does make a difference. It makes you feel better. I'm a little bit older than the normal streamers. I'm 35, so this is a labour of love for me. I live on my own in the northeast of England. Um, what else? That's pretty much it, really. Nothing, not a lot else to tell you. But it's Twitch is something I'm hoping to do for a while. That's a good save. Let's have a look at our substitutions. So, Bonds booked. Ripley's ready to come off. We can make a change for him for Lee straight away. Probably Horsefield for Harrop, and then we'll leave the rest be for a little bit. Wholeness. The next obvious one, probably Barden for Sonogo in a little while. But we'll leave that till probably 78 minutes, 78 minutes or so. We're risking that he might get sent off. I wouldn't want him to do that because I'm after having him break of some records this season. He's currently on 55 goals. We've got a few games left. I'd love to see him get to 65 would be the initial aim, but 70 would be dreamland. I think that would set a benchmark that certainly for the rest of this game I don't think I'd be able to beat or any player would be able to beat. I disabled the editor on this game. Newcastle started the season, well at first it was disastrous and I was getting really worried. Um, one of the, good save, 
Uh, one of the problems, I think, with Newcastle's team was that they signed a lot of decent players, but it's very much a championship team. So if we get out of this division, it's going to be another rebuild needed if, if Benitez wants to stay in the top division, I think. Barn, nightmare. Um, it, they've started, they're doing well now, but we've just got to keep going. We've got to get into those top spots. Um, it's kind of a relief at the minute, Duke Nukem. It's a relief because it was looking really bad. You know, it was looking like it could be another nightmare. But it's turning around slowly. Shelby, a lot of the good players are finding it easier. So you've got players like Shelby, Gufran, or like better at that level. So fingers crossed to keep winning. It was a bad loss the other day to, to Wolves in the league. Shoot. Oh, it's in. Thank you, Ota. So that pretty much seals that deal. If you look at Doninger's stats, guys, always over eight. Every single game, without fail. I don't know whether he's got... He must have the, the best hidden stats ever. Um, because I've had him since I think he plays in Northern League first for Shildon in this game and he's rated very very highly but you cannot sign him but eventually I think last season he just suddenly decided he wanted to come I kept checking because I wanted him as a mid centre mid but I didn't have a clue how good he really was he's, and then he just started getting nines nines Matt Ritchie's a local lad he's a good player he looks alright he's certainly going to benefit from, from playing in the championship for you know what's going to be a goal Oh, lucky. I don't think that was offside. Um, yeah, I, I like Matt Ritchie. I like Matt Ritchie. I think he's, there's quite a few players that are the same as... Um, the same kind of level as him. So it's like you can select probably two Newcastle teams that are very similar. Yeah, we've got our revenge in the Cup for Wolves. Um, but I think... It's... I don't know, it's weird. We've never had a Cup run for years and years, so it would be nice, but... We really have to get back in the Premiership, really. And if you if you don't get in, if you don't get straight back up, it's so much harder because you start to lose a couple of players who gave you a year. Um, but Benit and like, how long will Benitez hang around if they don't go straight back as well? You know, he's one of the top managers in the world. Well, we are lucky to have him. And if the shit, and if the if the fans start to get on his back, you know, if we start to have a few tough tough runs then then we've got a problem because who we're going to end up with next time we've seen some of the crap we've had recently like Steve McLaren and bloody you know, the other buggers I can't even think of who, who they are but you know we'd end up with like Alan Kirbishley or you know people like that who are just sort of the, who just move around getting sacked which is you know so we've got the best manager we could ever have ever hope for so anyway we are through against Matlock after a, a comfortable win. See who we're getting the quarter final draw now. Doninger impresses. I just want to show you Doninger's stats for the season. See that decent player, hardly any star rating. But when you look at that, you realise how impressive the kid is. And forty six games, nineteen man of the matches, eight point three six average, pass completion of eighty percent. That is just scary stuff scary stuff at this level Sunderland there's a lad I know called Thomas Robson who plays for them uh, he comes to most of the concert games hmm. um, he's a right so view the draw teams to avoid well, they're all pretty good. Well, we're drawn out first. We don't want Lincoln. We'd have Braintree. We don't want Welling. We'd have FC United. Tranmere, uh, who are fifth in the Vanarama National Division. Ooh. Um, yeah, he's really small. <laughs> when I walk past him, I'm six foot four. I'm like a massive guy. Uh, and, and he's like dead skinny um, always says hello and I think I think he's just signed a new contract so he'll be on money I can only bloody dream of now but he was on like 850 quid a week well 
I reckon you can double that for a start. He signed a two-year deal, so probably two or three grand a week. And if he gets into this first team, I think you're talking poof, crazy, crazy money. He certainly doesn't look like he's got any worries in the world. But I remember like, looking at a player like that and thinking, it's so near. Like We'd all love to do it, but like, how many people can actually... And it must be really weird as a young player at that age to go on the bench for a Premier League team and just think, I just want to get over that line and get a regular starting place and settle into being like a, a solid Premier League player. It's not even about the money. Like You wouldn't even care about the money, really. The first two or three paychecks when you're making like 30 grand a week, you'd be like, wow. And then it would be like, I'm just rich and just kind of used to it. But I think it must be that feeling of it being so close to that dream that everyone's got that only like what 500 people can do very right, Englishmen like the rest like a lot of foreign players come over it must be really weird to be like so close and just thinking pickers just pickers just pickers and that can kind of sort of see um, you know that would be that would be weird I think and if you missed out on it that would probably affect a lot of people so we've got a run of four home games coming up um, and we don't have the FA Trophy final for quarter final for the to the end of this month, which is a long way away. Probably won't get that far, guys. We'll play a couple of these games. Um, I am probably just going to have a look at the time now. Yeah, we'll probably play another twenty or five minutes, maybe another 10, 15 minutes, two or three of these games. Um, just because I've got something else I need to do before I go to bed. Um, but we need to. We need to kick on in the league. So it's a solid 4-4-2 formation. That makes me fancy this because there's not many teams that are better than us man for man in a straight 4-4-2 battle. So I'm pretty confident we're going to take these out. Barden in this division is just a beast anyway, so he's usually good for um, a game. So I, just so you guys know, um, my schedule streams in the panels, I broadly keep to it. And I say broadly because I'm still sort of in the early days and skim the bar um, so I'm hoping to keep to it I do sometimes play NHL 17 although I had a terrible stream on that yesterday it was like a real struggle to get uh, to sort of play that um, oh it was a good shot well saved Lloyd Weston's a good keeper I've played against I'm pretty sure I've played against him before um, well if it's a league game probably I probably have um, so we'll do a little bit of that um, I haven't truly found what my game's going to be. I think FIFA, uh, Football Manager 17 is likely to be it. Um, I'm good with money to a point. But I just think like Duke about... I know Duke's got to delay everybody, by the way, in case you're wondering like, how, how it sort of takes a while to... We keep going back on topics. Um, I just think when the dream's so close, it must be really difficult to get a taste of it and then miss out on it. Because most people do, let's be honest. Most people get on the bench and then head off. I think a player like him is likely to, you know, find a, a very, very well paid place in League One or the Championship at a minimum. Um, another another player who I who I knew not knew, but I actually sat next to him at the uh, League Two playoff final in two thousand and five was Jack Hobbs, who plays for uh, plays for I think is it Nottingham Forest he plays for now, and he was at Leicester for for a good while. Um, and it was when he was uh, on Lincoln's books and at the time was a 16 year old very big dark haired lad I remember young lad um, doesn't I don't really remember him looking like what he looks like now but he's like what 28, 29 now um, and this was actually you know, about 26 and, and now he's he went to Liverpool and played a couple of games for them in the last uh, but he's now um, Dan Williams 25 thank you for the follow pal Welcome, welcome. I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. And he played, he's now making like 25, 30 grand a week. Played for Nottingham Forest and it's like, Jesus. Like, you just see this young lad and you think, I remember me and my uh, brother-in-law, Paul. He wasn't my brother-in-law then, but he is now. And we were sort of saying, oh, I wonder if he makes it. You know, he's, he's doing quite well going to Liverpool. I wonder if he makes it. So we always followed him and he's just done so well. And I remember him when he was probably making about 50 quid a week. And it's like, wow, just to see like what his lifestyle must be like now. And everyone was saying, oh, he might well make it. And has he ever? Another guy I remember coming to Lincoln to play for Cambridge City was John Ruddy when he was a 16-year-old goalkeeper. 
Um, and he's obviously done fantastically well and you know made his fortune as well. I'm not that obsessed with money. I keep talking about it. I don't know why. Now, we were lucky not to concede there because that was a really good save by our keeper. Oh, we'll get a corner. So what features are you guys hoping for in FM17? What's your kind of... The one I'm after, just to set it off, is I'd love to be able to start as like under 18s manager, under 21s manager, you know, and do do like have to earn your stripes and, and get good performances. But I would like to think that it would take a while to earn that manager's spot. I know the game will be predisposed to offering you positions, um, but I think that'll be a really cool thing. And I believe that's going to be allowed in this version. But what features do you guys sort of fancy? Do you... Are you looking for anything particular? Go on. Get up there, Barden. What are you doing there? You should have been busting some ass to get into that hole in that defence. So. Yep, yeah, cheers, Duke, mate. Come on, Donninger. Deliver that. Ooh. Oh, I thought he'd saved it. He has. I thought he'd missed it, sorry, and let it go in. I thought he'd buried it. Yuck. Come on. Last chance to Get that ball in the goal. Get that ball in the... Oh! Oh! I thought it was in. Bummer. Mallet. Come on, Ryan. Get that talk done. I think I just need to say, I believe that you've got what it takes. I think I need that today. I've just been struggling to put teams away recently for some reason. Barden's gone a bit off the boil. Yeah, I think that's going to be... I, I fear there's, they say there's going to be lots of new features. What I've seen from the graphics that they've released, and they've released very little, is that it looks like there's a lot of user interface changes and things look a bit smoother and a bit more sensible in terms of how you in, how you play with the game. But I'm not 100% sure if there's, there's any sort of dramatic ch feature changes. When you think about the game, there's, there's not a lot of... That is a mint save. There's, there's not a lot of stuff that can really add to the game. It's so comprehensive already. So they do have to kind of... They're almost compelled to rejig the user interface. Otherwise, you, you kind of feel like you're not buying anything. So they've got to kind of play the game clever a little bit from their perspective to make it feel like it's new. Otherwise, people will start asking for refunds. Because it has to be a new game. It can't just be like an updated database. And there was a few versions really early on. And I'm thinking FM05 and maybe not maybe not that one specifically, but that type of era where sometimes you just felt like it was an updated rosters that you were buying. Oh, we're just not getting that. Penetration is the word I'm looking for. It's not usually a word I like to use because everyone just sniggers. But yeah, that's what we're looking for, that final ball. And that was a great tackle off Johnston. Had to, had to make it. Look at those shots on target. Ten again. Should be doing better. And we're getting close to a corner. So let's just have a look at the subs. Uh, I agree with that, Duke, definitely. Definitely. I'm not sure if I, I mean specifically those ones, but I definitely feel like... I'm going to make all three subs, sorry. I definitely feel like around there somewhere there was very little going on. And my computer was really slow and crap, so like I, I don't even think I bought some of them. My favourite was 03, 04. I think I talked about that last night. I just thought that game just worked. It just clicked. And you had players like Mark Tobin in the game and Justin Gosselin and Stephen McPhee, who was up front for Northampton. I think he was just a beast in the game. For some reason, Shola Ramiobi was always tremendous. Um, obviously, you had your Isaac Ocaronkos from CM2000, Taribo West, uh, Cherno Samba. Shit. 
General Sambo was a beast. We're suffering a kind of mini collapse at the minute. We're just not firing for some reason. We might have to make some changes for the next game. Luckily, we're, we're very comfortable in the league, but I don't want to get into... Get in, Barden. If I have to ever sell him, then I've really got a problem. <laughs> Was he offside? Has that guy got a point? No, he's onside there. No, that's onside. Uh, he's got that wrong. We'll have that one. Yeah, Taribo's a beast, wasn't he? God knows how old he really was. He played up front for Millwall, Cherno Samba. Hey, Claw Ticket, how are you doing, pal? Nice to see you again. We're back on again, can't get enough. Claw, Claw Tickets, another one of my recent followers. So nice to see you back in the stream, mate. Oh, now, referee, I think you should have a th shake your head and give your head a shake if I can learn how to speak. Come on, boys, I don't want to draw, I just want to win. Bit stretched here, come on. Donninger with an obligatory 8 out of 10 again. Guarantee on the games you get Donninger with an 8.2 and Dylan Barden with at least one goal. That's where you start from. Come on, get that ball up quick. Get that ball up. Oh. That's going to be a draw. Mm. Yep. Yeah. It's going well, mate, with Durham. Um, we are, I'll show you, there we are. We have a game in hand and we're five points clear. Dropped a few points recently, but we're nearly level with the games. There's another 11 games to go, roughly. So by no means over, but we're in obviously a fantastic position with a mid goal difference. So reality is we're probably going to be all right. Dylan Barden scored 56 goals in 44 games. So he's doing very well. His stats are going through the roof. Um, it's now settled on him being suited to League Two, but I believe he can go a lot higher than that. And our next match is against Whitby in fourth place. These are the games we need to be winning. Um, I'm just wondering, do I need to think about making any changes? I think I need to get Jimmy Lee back starting again. I'm going to put Michael Little in for him. Mm-mm-mm. He was a terrible sign that I've made. Dara, no, let's not do that. Um, I, it was He looked like he was going to start. My scout decided he was a four-star player and then immediately revised that to two stars as soon as he signed him, which was sackable in my view, but there's nothing I can do about it. So three days to go to Whitby and I've got Gainsborough six, so two big games coming up, which we are going to play. Ah, well, Thomas Ripley. Um, potential championship says he's way better than Jimmy Lee. I don't know. Gabriel insane. Well, he's judging player potential is terrible. Where's the one who's good? Say they're all pretty clear that he's a lot better. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Hmm. I don't know. Don't have to make that decision yet. I think I'm going to play Sunogo up front with Barden. In fact, I am. Decision made. Yeah, let's give him a break. He's done very well, don't get me wrong, but I think we're just going to just change it up slightly. 
Uh, Sonogo is going to be a defensive forward, and Barden is going to play advanced forward. That's cool, happy with that. Are they going to? I'm always interested to see if these guys ever actually get promoted to League Two. I feel like I was thinking the other day, I feel a bit sorry for Trafford because you've got both the Man Manchesters, you've got Salford, you've got FC Manchester. <laughs> you know, I was like, there's all these different Manchester teams ahead of them. I presume when Trafford is near Manchester, that probably looks silly. Um, hmm. It's quite good. Right. Here we go. Coddington, Darbo. I'm giving Little a game. We're giving Lee a game. We're giving Sonogo a game. Can it really change anybody else? This is one player who's quite underrated. I never mentioned him. He gets a 7.6. This guy's great. Um... Came from Accrington on a free and has done great. Has done really good. Um, I'm not sure. He must have been... How old is he? 27. He must have been dead, dead young when he played for Real Madrid. And then he was at Liverpool for quite a while. And then Blackpool. That must have been under um, that mad manager. And then he went to Spain. Back to Tranmere. Didn't do anything. Went to Whitehawk. So he's... He's kind of been around, but this guy was right at the top for a long time in Real Madrid, then Liverpool for four years. I mean, there must be something about the kid. So, not necessarily reflected in this game, but uh, generally speaking, he's um, he's fallen a lot shorter than his career than than he would have probably hoped. Another example, like I said, of someone who might have expected a lot more out of football than what's actually happened for him. Playing at a level where he might even need to do a regular job, which is probably killed him. Ooh, I oh, pass it, Bruner. Now go and big him up, and then he does that. So this is a game where we're expected to win comfortably. Ah, oh, yeah, Ian Holloway. I couldn't think of his name. Hey, he's he's nuts. <laughs> I like him. I think you put him in the commentary. He just he just looks like <laughs> he just know where he is. Um, I'd like to see him back in football. He suited Blackpool for a while. It was either one that signed Nile Ranger as well. I would say, Craigie, that's a lethal combination right there. Ooh, that was close. Again, I've I've got big, big concerns over me centre half pairing. Game we've had three shots on target, no goals. It's much. It's very unlike our strike force to to do that. If that happens to the end of the season, we could have a bit of an issue. I mean, we're not playing anybody better. It's not like we're playing better players. Well done, Darbo. Right, now on your bike, Barden, get in there. That's another shot on target. Get too many shots on target, you should be putting some of these in. If you get four shots on target, you'd expect usually to have one goal. Oh. Foul, we'll take it. Barden, are you taking that? Yep. Yeah. He is, yep. Yeah. Oh, Carmen, personified. 58th goal of the season, getting close to that big milestone of 60. Set him a target of 20 for the season, so that was in my own mind. Obviously, you can't set targets on the game. I'd like that in the game as well. If you could set targets for your players. That was a good cross, but if we could have played it along the ground, it would have been better. Bruno with a big shot and blanded well in goal. Good tackle by Horsfield. did have Andy Thanage who was the free kick beast but he couldn't get in the team so I, and he wanted to play every game so I couldn't have to let him go in the end bit of a shame because he had like 20 free kicks and I was refining his free kicks in training so he was really quite dangerous with the free kicks he was like the payette of this level he pretty much scored every time but he just couldn't get in the team he did. He offered me couldn't get ahead of Horsefield and Doninger who was probably the best player in the league in terms of his ratings
I would imagine Barden will get player of the season, given that he scored all those goals. But I think Dollinger will be just behind him. Go to seven now. You watch that. It'll be eight by the end of the game. This makes everything tick for us in the centre of the park. Corner ball. Bruna. Oh, that was a good freak. Okay. Sorry, good corner, but nobody on the end of it. Right on the penalty spot, which is the way I like it. I like it. Put it into there so the goalie can't really get to it. Um, yep, doing well. Holness is having a good game. I think I'm going to make a change at the back. Just give him a passionate you can do it chat and he's happy so hasn't played a lot for us i did sign him as a as a utility player problem with that is is the very rarely get on so no go let that one go On the break here, go on. No, Barden's breaking, lovely. Barden, oh, if you should have squared that. So maybe ways of a bit greedy. I guess when they've scored, you know, when they've scored 58 goals in the season, you cannot really hammer them too hard for it. But oh, Donninger, that was a poor ball. Not like him to do that. I must have jinxed him. That was a better one. Oof, Barton forces a save out of Bland. Donninger, might see that just knock up a little bit. Horsfield, Bruno all on seven. Barton on seven, so we're starting to dominate the game. Sonogo gets booked to Billy Beresford. Thinking about a substitution, maybe for Sonogo with that yellow card. He's not having the best of games. And that is how you do it with Barden. That is how you do it. A really good goal from Barden. 59th goal of the season. Watch this. Just wins the ball in the air. He's 17 years old. Great touch. Knocks it past the defender. He's got nothing. Bang. What a finish. What a player. There you go. Donner just creeping up to his obligatory 8 out of 10. Let's take Sonogo off for Ota. Give him a run out. Will we see Barden get his hat trick in his 60th goal of the season? Oh, what a save! Seven point five. I'm telling you, it'll, it'll get the eight. It'll get the eight. Brilliant ball. Unlucky. Poor ball by the player there, Donninger. <sighs> Nearly. So look at the subs again, see who's knackered. Donninger's probably knackered, but I'm testing to see if he gets to eight. Seeing if, I'm, seeing if it makes a liar of us. Little for Wakefield. It's probably going to be a centre mid. It's going to have to come off. I might take Horsefield off for Ripley. Let's give him another game. It's 
So we get a swing in the back end of their half. Another one. This will be no hurry here. Give it back. Great, good win, solid win. So you got a seven point eight so middle layer offers. So we're seven points clear with the game in hand, which means we should, if we beat Gainsborough, we might be 10 points clear. And what we'll do is we'll play Gainsborough, we'll get to the next game, and then we'll call the stream an evening. Uh, so tonight, so Dylan Barton, um, improving all the time. Great to see. So we'll be finishing at the pre-match screen for the Trafford game. Focus on attack and movement. Let's see what we've got going on for viewers. Hello to J Master and MRC17. If you could press the follow button, guys, that would be absolutely fantastic. To support me as a new streamer would be great. A good player for most. Oh, he thinks Sky uh, League One for for Barden, so That's good. Diva wants to discuss personal matters. Coddington's in good form. That's always the one to select. I didn't catch the UFC in the end, mate. No, um, but I've seen the the repeats of what happened. Right, so a little bit snowy at Durham for a change. Oh, that could be a red. Now after 18 seconds. Oh, God. That just, that could have been. Water's away. He's not going to get caught. No, he's messed up. Bad touch. Oh, that's a better one, though. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Cyborg, she's an absolute animal. Like, I haven't seen that fight yet, and I need to. I need to watch it, but she is dangerous. Ronda Rousey will want none of her, like, none of her. Boom! That's how you score the motor. That's how you keep your place alongside Barden, son. Don't think there'll be many women wanting to get in the ring, get in the cage with Cyborg now. Wow, how did Ram Spot save that? That was a mid save. game yeah she's um I think she goes through pretty much everybody at the minute barring an upset Misha Tate, I can't see her beating Cyborg. I can't see Rousey. I can't see Ronda Rousey beating her either. 
Ike's is just like so skilled. And hard as well. That was a bit rash by Barden there. Oh, don't careful wholeness. Good play here. Nice move. Oh, Bruno with a great. Uh, that wasn't good. Okay. Thought that was a corner, personally, but got to be careful just with this one goal, especially with five shots on target. We need to be putting them away, and we've got another shot on target. All we're doing now is increasing Rams Bottom's rating and making it easier for him to continue making the good saves because the computer will think he's having a good game. So we need to deal with that. So we've had one clear cut chance. Oh, to put away that monstrous shot. Um. That's a good ball. And again, he saved it. He must have a massive rating. How's he? What's he doing? Six, six point seven. He made loads of saves. Craziness. Yep. Thanks for coming by, Duke Newcomb ninety three. Really appreciate it as always, mate. And uh, we'll be back on on Wednesday. It'll be the next time I'm on, mate. So get yourself there, and we'll that we'll carry on with the season, get it finished, and start a rebuild for next year. So it should be good. We'll definitely get promoted. I'm pretty sure of that. Can't see us not getting promoted. Pretty heartbroken if we're if we get playoffed. I can't see it happening. Can't see it happening. Oh, the goalkeeper's having a bloody great game. Good man, we'll see you then. Thanks, mate. Have a great couple of days. Let me nearly finish the stream now anyway, so it won't be on much longer. It's the end of this game. Gonna put Dylan Coghill on, give him his chance. He hasn't been on for a while. Give him a half to impress us. Certainly our centre halves, there's places there to be won, to be honest, because none of them have really impressed. Cal Cameron has the tools. He's certainly good enough, but he hasn't he hasn't done it. <laughs> he just hasn't done it yet. So, guys, if you're in the stream and you haven't followed yet, please do so as Horsfield pops on in for a second goal. Um, just want to give a brief shout-out to the people who have followed me this stream. Um, we've got Jack Tyler, 54, Temple K9, Particle 314, Mokies Bai, and that's really up to him. Clemmer Belair and Dan Williams 25. So thanks to all of you guys for the follows if you're still here. And uh, let me know if you stream and I'll try and follow you and, and try and watch a bit of your work. Hang on, need me chat back so I can't see it. There we go, need to go back in. Um, so yeah, I'm a relatively new streamer. I do a variety of games. Currently only NHL and Football Manager. I'll be doing a lot of Football Manager 2017 when it comes in comes out in a couple of months time and um, so please follow and get on for that um great ball to Ota. could it be no nope. rams bottoms had a good game so the i i would hope maybe to get promoted and play a league season if possible and there we go dylan barton with his 60th goal of the season absolutely fantastic 60 goals in one season guys unbelievable and not in 60 games either which is just sick the kid is too good for this level but that's fine because we're going to be going up a level and that should make him happier Thank you to Mr. C17 for your follow. Welcome to the stream, mate. Really appreciate your follow this evening and hope you enjoy what's left of the stream. Um, if you go to YouTube and search for Diet Carb, 
um, you will be able to find uh, the the full stream on archive. I know it's not the same watching it as was watching it live, but it's there if you want to watch it. And Ota climbs tall and pops in a fourth. Let's look at our subs because we don't need to. Kind of feel bad about taking this guy off, Bruma for Lee. I might put Lee on that wing, maybe. Hmm. I might put Sonogo on the wing. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna put Sonogo on the wing just for a laugh, just to give him a game, just to test him. And say you should always test young players by playing them out of position. Probably not in professional football, but certainly when. You're dealing with youngsters, that's almost essential. You never let a, like, a th young player say, oh, I'm a forward and just play them up there. You've got to move them around, teach them about different positions. So we're going to try that with Sonogo and see if it works. We'll probably get our coach telling us off saying he's out of position, do something, even though we're 4-0 up. Good finish. Can't argue with that, really. That was a really nice goal. 20th of the season as well. So watch this. Long over the top. He picks it up. Takes a touch. Boom. And it's in the corner. And there's not a lot anyone could do about that, really. Could have maybe closed him down a little bit quicker. But, again, nice. Nice goal. Might, we'll probably get another one back. I'm not too worried. Only less 19 minutes to go in the game and we're not likely to die. And there's Ota with his third goal of the game. With Ripley setting him up. Doninger again with one. Thank you, Mr. C17. Really appreciate that, mate. It's nice to be streaming on Twitch and it's nice to have people say nice things. So thank you very much indeed. Hoping to be on a lot more. It's difficult when you first start and people sort of think, well, why have you only got a few followers? You must be rubbish. And it's like, I've just started. <laughs> I just started this week. I've been planning it forever. Um, so we're 5-1 up in this game. Hopefully, I mean, look at the shots on targets, 14. So that's about what you'd expect. We might have more yet. So in the next stream will be Wednesday, if you look at my stream schedule. It'll be Wednesday uh, from about 9pm. Great save, I think. You might have got a touch. Uh, and I do stream other games as well. I sometimes stream NHL 17. But I need to practice that a little bit um, because I'm not that good. I'm off work next week. So I should be streaming through the day a little bit more. But that won't be the norm. I'm not a full-time streamer. Uh, not Nowhere near that. If ever, I don't think I'll ever get that far. I think it's uh, no, no, not even a pipe dream, just sort of something that maybe would be all right if it happened. I wouldn't complain to do that instead of a job. <laughs> Who wouldn't, to be honest? One more chance, maybe. Oof. Ota's just hungry for goals. So we beat Gainsborough 5 1. Um, man of the match, Ota with 9.6. Doninger gets 9 again. Seems to only get 9 whenever I don't notice. We're 10 points clear with everyone's played 36 games. So that's quite a nice sort of position to end it. We've caught up in games. We have a goal difference of 63. We've scored nearly 100 goals um, and 10, um, 10 points clear in the league. So. That is pretty amazing. Ota has got 14 goals for us, but he's also got 28 goals for the season because he played for another team who scored a lot of goals in his division. So he's done really well this season. Barton, 60 and 48. Sick as it gets. Hello, James160190. Thanks for the follow, mate. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're not far away from the end, but I'm just sort of summing up. Um, Doninger's about to play his 50th game. Look at that rating. That's a bit sick. 8.36 uh, in the Northern Premier Premier 8.47 fairly certain if we just go and look for stats not sure how we do that I must be having a, I'm gonna have a funny moment here and say I'm not sure what's going on 
is it in there ah yes player stats player stats player stats top goal scorer Daryl Barden with 45 and he's like a mile ahead of Jordan Bove um, he's only age 18 of course so he's doing very very well um, best average was this, was this? average rating we have Mark Doninger and Daryl Barden way out ahead now Keegan Everington I've had here he used to play for I'm sure he starts at Lincoln he does been around the Lincolnshire area all of his career um, but yeah this is you know pretty insane Doninger most player of the match he's in line to get that player of the season I think a lot um, so just to finish off uh, the stream I want to show you guys the schedule we've got two more games before the FA Trophy quarter final I'd love to get a bit further than that um, not one silverware I have won that before in another save on this game just randomly got through with a really low ranked team and just kept winning somehow I never never quite understood how I did that uh, but it happened um, but I haven't won anything any silverware on this save so it would be great to get that as we probably going to win the Northern Premier Premier, where we're pretty much heading to the Conference North now, after starting dead low down. I need to unsubscribe from that because I'm not even in it. So we'll get out of there. Uh, right, what's this? Uh, Trafford. So it's Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, and after that we shouldn't have pretty much one game a week. So it's going to be plain sailing after that, getting the top team out. The sort of hard work in the season's nearly over, but don't tell the players. Cobain wants to, yeah, potentially be a key player for the team. I think with 60 goals this season, he pretty much already is a key player for the team. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but I would say that is the case. Matty Timmons a good player. If you ever play a low league save, he does get a few goals further down the divisions. Not so good when you get to sort of league level. But certainly a decent hand further down. So guys, like I say, I'm probably next going to be on on Wednesday. Maybe I can't see me being on tomorrow night because I'm going to a football match. It's by the time I get home, 10 o'clock. Probably not tomorrow. And I have got on my stream schedule that I don't stream on a Tuesday. So it's usually why because I'm usually at a game somewhere. So, um, what I like to do is have a full range of choice on the on the bench. There we go. Um, Harvey Hod. Tell me, do I'm going to save the game as? I'm going to save the game now, and I'm going to try and release Harvey Hod. If it lets me, I'll save it. If it doesn't, I just won't. Because he, he I signed him when he was four starred. So. Should have worked, but didn't. Wait one second. So we'll do a quick roll call while that's saving um, to say who's in the stream still. Stromson85, please give us a follow if you can, guys. Anyone who's not following currently, Bill Tech as well. Hello, Bill Tech, Claude Ticket, James160190, MRC17, Particle314, Stromson85, Templek9. Uh, guys, a lot of you have been following the stream for quite a while this evening, so really grateful for that. Um, is it going to let me do it? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, guys, we're going to exit there. We're not going to save that. We'll just keep them for now. So that, that is about it, guys. Very, very grateful for you uh, people to, to follow us. Um, it's it's lovely to have so many of you here so thank you very much for following I'm on Twitter at Diecarb I'm on YouTube if you search for Diecarb it's not YouTube slash Diecarb because it's a new channel um, and also I have Facebook Diet Carb Gaming which I'm going to change the name eventually I changed the name from what it used to be into Diet Carb Gaming and it's not gaming it's just Twitch so I'm probably going to call it Diet Carb on Twitch or something but uh, we'll see what happens so that's it guys, I'm going now, it's getting quite hot in here, um, but thank you for passing by, have a great evening and I'll see you guys on Wednesday, thanks for watching.